Uh, both you and Shane are considered slick fighters. Um, what do you consider the, the main differences in your styles? As you, I mean, do you consider Shane as a slick fighter? In the well, order? I mean, yeah and no. Mm -hmm. To me, Shane is a fighter with a lack of defense. I mean, he cannot flip a jab and save his life. What do you mean? You don't move his head? He or does not move his head. I mean, you fight, you watch Ricky Wright, where probably they, they do limit the jab count. I mean, tremendous. You know what I mean? He eats the jab all day, all day long. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, you know, far as being slick, I don't, I don't see that. And Kodo did better with his jab than people thought yeah. he was going to do. And, and we all know Kodo had no jab. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So, and he, and, and he was able to put his jab and stand up on this move. So. How about uh, Shane against Southport? Oh, no. He does terrible. Well, we <laughs> he's terrible. Who else? Uh, uh, he fought, um... We got a whole bunch of you for Winky, for uh, what's this guy? Uh, uh, Willie Wise. Yeah, Willie Wise. They for Willie Wise. Oh yeah, we go. Willie Wise. Yeah, we go. We got, uh, <laughs> really we got all the tapes. Uh, <laughs> uh, who was? Uh, I could beat Willie Wise. Uh, and you could beat Willie, and you see how Willie chucks him up a little bit. You know? Yeah, it was and, good. Yeah. Uh, who was? You saying you think he's the same fighter as as he was back in the day? I mean, he shaked a little bit. I mean, let me, let me rephrase what I'm saying, guys. I want you guys to think that I'm saying Moley is a terrible fighter. Moley's a great fighter. He's great at what he does. He, he has great skills. He's a great athlete. I just think that coming in this fight, I'm mental and my preparation for this fight is so tremendous that, I, I'm, that, that, that I'm really not worried about nothing that should really bring to the fight. But he's, he's a great athlete. He's a great boxer. He's done great in the sport of boxing. But just that come May 31st, I'm focused. I'm ready to go. Zach, to pe go. people who are critical of you consider you basically a four-round fighter, meaning after four rounds, somehow you mentally you seem to fall apart and you, yeah. you, give, you give up. What's going to be different now? I mean, why should people believe in you now? I mean, listen, I mean... Butter Bean was a four-round fight. <laughs> you know what I mean? Anything can happen. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I mean he did go 10 with Larry, right? Yeah, you know, I mean, a lot of times my fights don't go past the four. You know what I mean? But like I said, we all know the what ifs. If Zach Judah came, this is what I'm going to give y'all, May 31st. I'm going to give y'all what y'all wanted. You know, you guys wanted 100% Zach Judah. I want 100% Zach Judah. And we're going to get it. What, what, what fight you came before where you thought, I, I gave 100% winner lose, where you thought this was the best night that I have given of myself? Oh, a lot. Um, um, Mickey Woods, uh, second uh, Spence fight. Uh, the Mayweather fight, uh, Kodo fight, I mean, anytime I step in the ring, I'm going to give my all, regardless, you know, in shape, out of shape, you know, when, when, when my shape falls out, my heart kicks in, you know what I'm saying, it's like a backup machine, you know what I mean, so, and together with them both working on the same hand in hand, woo wee, somebody got problems, any prediction on the Mayweather big show fight? I don't, 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 I He's a great guy, and, um, but my dad is still there, mm -hmm. and um, you know, I picked up a new management team, PMG, Michael Schoenfeld, David C. Um, it's great. I mean, I relocated. I've been with the for a while now. You know, I got a different piece of mind. You know, don't gamble. <laughs> I ain't got that problem. You know. Um, it's a good fight. It, 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 it just depends. You know, Floyd is a very well conditioned fighter. You know, out of, out of, more or less out of skill, anything, Floyd comes in every fight 100%. It's only great condition. So that means a lot of fighters.
How's everything? Good. How's everything? Good. Good. You think for your fans in Brooklyn? I love you. In case you guys, I love you. May 31st, don't miss it. Hey, baby, baby, check it out. Did you think that Miguel kind of lost steam in the later rounds against Mosley, or do you think that? I think he got bored. It was a boring fight, you know what I mean? It was, it was a boring fight. It was nothing like, you know what? Shane always, Shane keeps trying to, uh, you know, use his fight with Mosley and my fight. Oh, he went the distance. He survived the fight. That's all he did was survive. If you look at Mosley and Cotto fight, you know, after Cotto fought Mosley, Cotto went uptown to the Sosa, to the Sosa spot and went Sosa dancing, you know what I'm saying? And Cotto left me, he went straight to the hospital. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's a difference. Not, not to take anything from Cotto. Cotto's a great fighter, he's great, but it, it was a different fight, a different night. You know what I mean? With Mosley, it was a, it was a walk in the park. It was absolutely Julian, like he went through a meat grinder. You know what I mean? So, I mean, it is, it is plain to sell. But he gonna, when he gonna talk to him, he gonna try to see and say, oh, he had a better fight that night and he survived 12 rounds. Okay, so what? So what? What did, it, what did that mean? Nothing. You know? I survived two, six devastating low blows that kept going. Think you would have won the fight without those low blows? I think so. I mean, I know so. Yeah, I know so. Think they were intentional? I mean, you know what? I'll be saying that, I'll be throwing him under the bus. You know what I'm saying? I don't care too. You know, I mean, Miguel Cotto, he did what he had to do to win this one. That's it. So you don't necessarily buy into the thing that, like, like Tito, that that's, you know, that's what they do? It can happen to any of us. Uh, if I'm hurt badly enough, where well, I know that, listen, I know a low bro can give me, save me some time, hey, why not? Hey, hold this. <laughs> You know, recover. And why you come here? I'm free. You know, it's called survival tactics. So you're from the Hopkins School of Thought. Whatever it takes. It's survival tactics. <laughs> definitely, definitely. What you is know? your training regime gonna be like this time against Shane? Say it again. What is your training regime gonna be like? Oh, definitely. We we enhance everything. You know, what I'm saying times ten. You know, I mean, we're we're in the mountains, mountains, and mountains, and, and Mount Charleston every day. We got our nutritionist training. They got conditioning trainers. You know. You know, I, I mean, you know, I, I read now, you know what I mean? I read books and just take my time out and just relax. I relax now, you know what I mean? So it's a different type of living now, you know? I have a beautiful view, so I sit back and read a book and watch my view. And it, so it's a great feeling, you know? I hang out by the pool now. <laughs> you guys have, are you promotionally tied in with anybody right now? No, I mean, when he, when he beats Mosley, he, he does... Options for a bit. The, the options are very, very, they were very fair from Golden Boy. I was very, very... Impressed with what Mr. Schaefer offered. How many fights? Uh, three fights, with one of them, which will be a rematch. But the great thing is this, we have our own company, Super Promotions. Uh, we're looking at signing some great fighters right now. What we got to have? We're working on some big, some big, some big names. Some big names. Yeah, you seem to be more mature now. Like in the past, you used to run with a big posse and everything. Yeah. And, you know, is, is that all behind you now, pretty much? Well, you, you know, <laughs> even when you watch, <laughs> even even when you watch American Gangster, Frank like Lucas got every morning ate by himself. You know what I'm saying? Even he had a big posse, he ate by himself every morning. Self so Well, and I think too is that you know. Like they respect, you know, they, they know this is do or die for Zab. I think, he's take, I think Zab's taking his career more seriously than that. And his, and his friends see that. And it, it's, it's uh, by the way, they always see so. <laughs> <laughs> Upgrade. So they're going to they're gonna blend in when you see this on that. You're not going to know which one they are now. <laughs> well, you, said, you said his posse sees this as do or die. Is that, yeah, they respect Does Zab see this as do or die? Oh, definitely. If this doesn't this. work out, where you at? It's no such thing. It's gonna work out. Just, I mean, we all see what happened when you put Zap's shoes back against the wall. Come through flying colors. So you guys both, you, you think you and Shane both have the same amount to do? That's why I call it a risk. Uh, what is it? High risk. High, high sticks. sticks. High sticks. Yeah. Oops. It's that my stick is filling me up. <laughs> Thank you, Thank you very much. Appreciate it, guys. Thanks. Thank you, guys. Thank you.